to Ukraine as well. Um, Prime Minister Modi emphasized that you know he wanted a peaceful solution. Um, as you probably know, uh, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said it was really a major blow to peace efforts to see Prime Minister Modi hug uh, President Putin. Uh, can you please give us uh, your reaction to this? And what do you see as India's role um, in, in the U Ukraine conflict? Thank you. Sudan. Hi, sir. Siddhan from Vion. Uh, energy cooperation looks like uh, a major outcome in terms of the conversation. The Prime Minister mentioned about it as well. Uh, so, if you can detail as to what kind of uh, practical cooperation are we looking at uh, uh, after this summit? Suhasini. Um, in a, uh, this is Suhasini Heather from the Hindu Foreign Secretary. In a, when you say a hundred billion dollars in bilateral trade. Um, uh, is there a, a discussion really about uh, uh, balancing that trade because it's 60 billion dollars is already uh, in oil trade between the two countries? Thank you. So take, take last question, please. Tegik Senekandrathiwa from RT. Um, my question is uh, whether the leaders have discussed um, the um, any long-term agreements on oil imports because that's what we learned from the reports. Uh, does India see it uh, important to have a larger discount uh, on um, oil uh, imports from Russia? And uh, will India continue importing uh, energy resources despite criticism, uh, continuous criticism of um, its Western partner? And as addition, if I may, since um, uh, the agreements on Far East uh, have been signed, India has provided um, a line of credit, one billion line of credit, years back. Are there any updates on that? Or what is the status of that? Thank you so much. Uh, it's very, very clear that the uh, uh, economic agenda dominated the discussions between the two leaders. Uh, it was prioritized not just in a generic sense in terms of uh, you know, uh, the stock taking of what we do, but the two leaders actually uh, went into uh, great detail uh, in certain areas, uh, both in terms of uh, what are the challenges that the bilateral uh, trade, economic and investment partnership currently faces, and what are the steps that the two systems should take to address some of these challenges going forward. Number one. Number two, in terms of uh, uh, future areas of partnership, uh, building on what we have uh, uh, in terms of our existing uh, relationship. So when we talk of trade, uh, 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 as somebody rightly observed that the current volumes of trade are already quite significant and high, which is at roughly 65 billion dollars and whether the $100 billion target is simply a question of rebalancing. <clears throat> uh, the trade basket in general is a continuously growing and an evolving feature of any trade relationship. <clears throat> its segments get positioned differently across the trade basket. Some cases there is an imbalance, some cases the trades are balanced. But I think when we talk of $100 billion trade, we are not just talking about balancing aspect of the trade relationship, but we are also talking about the expansion of the trade. Uh, and that expansion is expansion and the broad basing of the trade basket uh, of different goods that are, uh, that are exchanged between the two countries, that are traded between the two countries. Uh, so, uh, 100 billion target uh, is first of all an expression by the two leaders of the ambition that they have set uh, uh, for the larger economic relationship and within the larger economic relationship on the specific trade relationship. Two, it's also a very clear direction to the two systems that they need to really uh, put in now efforts to broad base the trade basket and to, of course, uh, make it uh, uh, more sustainable as we go along. Uh, that's what I would, uh, you know, uh, uh, put to you in terms of how the two leaders looked at the trade relationship. Now, 
in the uh, wider basket of uh, economic relationship energy cooperation uh, is uh, naturally a very important feature it's not just an important feature in terms of uh, the volume that the energy uh, captures in the bilateral trade but it is also a very uh, a crucial segment when it comes to the energy security of india so uh, 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 when we look at uh, 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 energy partnership between india and russia i think an important perspective to position there is what the energy security interests of india are two uh, how does this energy security also uh, uh, feed into uh, 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 a stronger uh, supply chain of downstream industries that uses this energy back home in india uh, so uh, that's a, that is one segment of the energy partnership uh, uh, as you know uh, uh, india has always also had uh, investment linkages uh, with the russian energy uh, uh, ecosystem uh, sakhalin 1 uh, indian participation in the sakhalin 1 is not a uh, is not a new uh, uh, investment uh, uh, focus it's it's been there for for last uh, uh, several years uh, so the two leaders when they spoke of uh, uh, cooperation in this sector they did focus on how exactly to strengthen that partnership in the similar vein how exactly um, uh, india uh, uh, including in particular through the government to government route could also uh, uh, build partnership with rosneft and other energy entities so uh, if you if you were to uh, to to your question on uh, on energy siddhant if you look at this it's a, it it featured as a very uh, uh, a comprehensive segment within the larger economic piece uh, that the two leaders uh, uh, focused on uh, and energy security uh, and if i could just take a moment to add also the fertilizer security in this case because uh, india is a uh, uh, is a, a large importer of uh, fertilizers uh, uh, in particular the phosphatic and the potash fertilizers uh, from russia uh, uh, and that has always been an important feature which connects back to the uh, you know the uh, requirements of the indian agriculture and the indian farmers so that prime minister focused very heavily on it and on the need to uh, uh, consolidate and build on that relationship uh, i would not uh, given its crucial significance uh, for the indian agriculture industry Uh, uh and the larger uh, uh, uh framework of fertilizer security i would not position it as a simple trade item i will position it as a larger uh, item of uh, uh, strong economic uh, uh, security need in the field of uh, agriculture uh with regard to the uh, 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 a few set of questions on the return of indian citizens uh, working in the in the russian army there were two parts to it uh, uh, ma'am you asked here about uh, uh, the uh, uh, total numbers uh, uh, we have mentioned this in the past that while we do not have the precise indication of uh, the specific numbers it uh, we expect or anticipate them to be roughly between 35 to 50 uh, a total number of uh, uh, of indian nationals um, out of which uh, uh, 10 indian nationals we have managed to bring them back to india uh, through very active efforts uh, on our own and also in in partnership with the uh, with the russian system uh, prime minister uh, raised this issue very strongly uh, 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 that uh, we should try and get back all indian nationals um, uh, back to india as early as possible uh and as i mentioned to you there was a uh a, a, a sense of a promise from the russian side on that now the two systems will work on it and uh, see how exactly and how expeditiously we can uh, get them uh, uh back into the into the country the uh, uh third set of questions if i could just take them together are relating to ukraine uh i said all no i that's what is our uh, uh, um, uh, you know uh, that has been our uh, uh, position with the russian side 
and as I said, when we work through, this has to be worked through in the processes, and we will see how the details of it emerge during the process, and naturally, we will decide accordingly. Uh, with regard to the, uh, 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 the Russia-Ukraine uh, uh, conflict, uh, yes, this featured between the two leaders, uh, uh, both at the uh, private discussions uh, at the dinner yesterday and also in talks today. Uh, look, I will, uh, you know, we have uh, uh, given our position on, on Russia-Ukraine uh, uh, several times in the past, but uh, uh, let me limit today uh, to what the Prime Minister said uh, to the media quite openly today in his opening remarks. And I think that sets out uh, uh, very clearly how we look at the conflict. Uh, in terms of uh, 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 the, uh, the, uh, the, the death of the innocents yesterday, Prime Minister was uh, very clear uh, and categorical in expressing his concern and, and, and uh, regret at the loss of these innocent lives, uh, including in particular the children yesterday. Uh, and you would have uh, seen that uh, 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 I'm not trying to paraphrase Prime Minister's remark because he said it openly. Uh, he clearly said, roughly translated into English, that uh, uh, the uh, solution to this conflict uh, is not to be found on the battlefield. Uh, this is a very rough uh, translation of what uh, Prime Minister said. Uh, and that uh, uh, it is possible only through uh, uh, dialogue and diplomacy. Um, uh, for those, uh, you know, uh, who follow Hindi, he said, Yuddh ke maidan mein samadhan sambhav nahi hote, just to capture the preciseness of what the Honorable Prime Minister said. And uh, that's what I would limit myself to because that uh, captures... Uh, um, yeah, a sense of uh, uh, our view on, on, on what happened uh, yesterday. Uh, Prime Minister also said uh, uh, at his uh, remarks today, uh, open to the press, that uh, India would do and is willing to offer all possible uh, support, uh, contribution and cooperation uh, uh, required to, uh, you know, address this particular challenge of Russia-Ukraine conflict and find uh, 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 peaceful solutions to it. And the two leaders, uh, uh, as, as, as Prime Minister said, had a, a very detailed discussion. Several interesting ideas uh, came forward. Um, uh, some new uh, thoughts also came forward. So uh, uh, from our side, as Prime Minister has said, we are ready to make all possible contribution. Uh, that can be made uh, to uh, to arrive at peace and stability uh, uh, when it comes to Russia-Ukraine conflict. Uh, on the uh, on the question of uh, BRICS uh, that you asked, look, I, uh, I I don't want to get ahead of uh, ourselves in terms of uh, what the BRICS Sherpas are currently discussing. You are aware that. Uh, uh, BRICS, the last round of BRICS expansion took place in Johannesburg at the Johannesburg summit uh, and currently the, uh, the BRICS uh, senior officials uh, and Sherpas are busy discussing the guidelines uh, and different models that could be considered by the BRICS leader for its future expansion uh, and I think it would not be correct for me to really comment because those are ongoing discussions, ongoing negotiations um, and thereafter, uh, each country would need to look at uh, uh, who these specific applicants are uh, wanting to be part of the expanded BRICS format. Uh, but that's a question we will address only after uh, the BRICS uh, senior officials have arrived at a consensus piece which clearly spells out what would be the guidelines to look at when, it, when we talk of the um, uh, BRICS expansion. With regard to the uh, nuclear energy component, uh, there was a question. Uh, uh, as I mentioned, the uh, India-Russia cooperation on Kodankulam uh, nuclear power plants, uh, the fuel supply relating to that plant, 
uh, especially for its units uh, uh, 3 to 6, 3, 4 and then 5 and 6. That is, uh, uh, was very much a part of a discussion between the two leaders and uh, we hope to move forward on, the, on many of the fuel supplies issues uh, quickly. Uh, with regard to the uh, delay in the uh, uh, spare parts uh, of the defense equipment, uh, yes, that was raised uh, uh, by the Prime Minister. Uh, and uh, uh, the both sides uh, had a general sense of agreement that uh, uh, this would be expedited, including through uh, setting up joint venture partnerships in India uh, to look at uh, some of these spare parts, particularly the more critical spare parts, uh, so that uh, uh, we do not uh, continue to, or we are able to address this uh, challenge in a more meaningful and, uh, and, and a sustainable way. They, when when they spoke of defense, I would not, uh, you know, like to have a specific comment to the co-production of aircraft like you just. But in the general space of defense, uh, the larger uh, domain of co-production was definitely uh, uh, emphasized by by both the leaders. We already have some good examples of co-production in the field of defense. Uh, um, uh, and uh, we would very much like to both countries would both leaders would very much like to build on that and add on new equipment uh, if need be and if possible new platforms which can be uh, included as part of uh, co-production uh, successful achievements uh, between India and Russia uh, I'm just trying to see if there is uh, uh, I think I probably answered most of them. Uh, journalist? Yeah, journalist one. Look, uh, uh, I take your point. Uh, uh, you know, presence of Indian journalist here and uh, the journalist reporting from here on Russia, on India-Russia relations are two different things. And I think... Uh, the way uh, India-Russia partnership has remained so steady, so reliable over a period of uh, last several decades, has remained consistent, consistently upward curve across the various areas. Uh, uh, clearly, when uh, uh, the two uh, countries talk of people-to-people, -people, uh, greater people-to-people -people partnership, uh, uh, I think the uh, greater cooperation in the field of journalism, uh, including if possible through presence, uh, could naturally be one of the elements that, uh, that the two systems could look at. Thank you very much. Thanks. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the close of this press briefing. Thank you very much. Yeah.